Hello, this is the tutorial for APA formatting for a references page at the end of your document. If you're looking for a tutorial using a Mac computer, you're going to want to switch to a different video. This one is for Windows PC users only. So let's say that we're going to use the Keys for Writers, which is the sixth edition. You need to turn to page 261 to begin. On page 261, you see how the references page is supposed to be set up. Here we have our sources. Um, notice we have a header at the top of the page that has the title in all caps. We have a page number on this side, and we have read the word references in the center. In order to format this properly, let's start with the header. So we're going to go to the Insert tab here. We're going to click on Page Number, select top of the page, and select the one that's on the right-hand side so that our page number appears here. Your page numbers should continue on from your text of your paper through to your references page. So in this case, I have a three-page paper, and this is going to be my fourth page. Next thing you're going to want to do is click directly underneath that, go back to the Home tab, and click the Left Alignment button. And here I'm just going to type the title in all caps. And then our header is beneficially created. So we'll double-click, and that will be done. Now, if these are our sources down here, remember I said that references needs to go at the top of your document. So, on the first physical line, we're going to center our text. We're going to just simply type the word references. Notice that it's not bolded, it's not italicized, it's not in a larger font. It's exactly the same font I used on the rest of the document. And there's only one space between them. The next thing you'll notice if you look at the Keys for Writers book here is that the citations on this page are double-spaced. Um, also, note that there's no extra space between them. So what we're going to do is take out this extra space. <clears throat> we're going to highlight all of our citations, right-click, and click on the Paragraph tab. What we're going to do here is click on the Line Spacing tab, click Double Spacing, and that will double space everything on the page. So there's only one space between each of our citations. Something else you'll notice here is that our first citation here begins, the, last, the author's last name begins with a W. Here it begins with a B. APA requires that you alphabetize these, so we're going to want to rearrange these by cutting this one out and pasting it up here. And remember, take out that extra space. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is a hanging indent paragraph style. If you notice here, the first line of text is going to be flush with the left-hand margin, but every line underneath that is going to be indented. In order to create that, we're going to want to highlight all of our text again, right-click, select Paragraph, and go to Line Space, or Indentation, right here. It says Special. We're going to click this button, we're going to click the Hanging Indent Style, and select OK. And that makes sure that all of our lines underneath the first one are properly indented. You do that for all of your citations, and that is all you need to do. That's how you properly format an APA references page using a Windows PC.